1969, Z was produced and they had a cinema at Monash and the, it was cheap so it was good because I didn't have much money. And so I went along and saw it. It is the only film where ever that I've ever seen where I've come out of the cinema with my fists clenched. It was so powerful, partly because of Theodore Arkansas' music, partly because of the story, partly because at the beginning of the film, where they have that thing, you know, any similarity between person living and dead, blah, 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 they say is deliberate. But you, you understand the point, that's right at the end of the film. And you've seen, the, you've seen this investigating magistrate pursuing uh, what looked like an ordinary uh, accidental death of uh, a politician, uh, but it becomes apparent as he investigates it that the whole thing has been orchestrated by the police and he has the honesty and integrity to indict them. Uh, and, and, and what I really love about the very last sequence is how you are shown a photograph of the real person and a photograph of the actor who played the real person. I mean, it's, it's a real no-punches-pulled <coughs> movie, which is not bad for 69. Irony is a very pervasive element. And I mean irony in the original sense. You know, the irony comes from the um, stock Greek um, theatrical dramatic character called Iron, uh, who was constantly pitted against another character whose name I've forgotten. Um, and this other character seemed to be the stronger of the two. And Iron always looked weaker than we know him to be. And the other character would always uh, act as if he were weaker than in fact he is. And the point about irony is that the audience knows a secret which the characters in the play do not know. Mm. Um, and here, you know, we, we know what has actually happened in Greece, but the people involved in the action don't.